I'll just go ahead and zoom in here. Right. So I'm going to create this throne using the least amount of geometry that I can get by with. So I'm starting here. I'm going to want to have like legs and arms and things like that. So the way I'm going to approach this is I'm going to I could convert this to an editable poly, or I could just actually start working on it, and it would use the edit poly modifier. But I'm going to go ahead and convert it to editable poly. Select some faces, go in here. I forgot to hold down control. Okay, so now I have these selected. I'm going to extrude these. I'm going to Hold shift, click, and it thinks 10 inches is what I want. 4 inches is about what I want here. All right. So I'm going to extrude like arms and legs from here. But I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing in this direction, 4 inches. It remembered the four inches, so it put that in there. I'm just going to click OK. The seat should be like 18 inches from the floor. This is six inches. I'm going to put a cushion in here, like maybe a six inch cushion, which will compress to three inches. So we've got like nine inches, so I need another nine inches to the floor. Okay, so I'm going to select these faces. I'm going to shift click on extrude. It's giving me four inches. I'm going to make this six inches. I'm going to go into bevel. I think I just need like three inches now. Okay, so between those, Six inches, three inches, that's nine inches, plus six, 15. And so if I put a cushion on here, I'll get up to the 18 inches that I, I want for my throne. So this isn't really elegant so far, but we'll uh, do some things to make it look nicer. So based on this, I'm gonna go in, I'm still in face mode. I'm gonna go in here and select these faces now. I want to raise some arms here, so that's usually about eight inches, you know, with the cushion, that's another three. So I'm going to do 11 inch extrusion here. Click OK. Then I'm going to do something a little fancy here. Uh, you know, it's a throne. It has to have some ornamentation. So I'm going to pop that up. Eh, you know, three inches. That's probably fine. Um, now for the back of the throne, I'm just going to do this. Eyeball this. Okay, so we have that. Then I'm going to select just this part, extrude it up. Now, I want it to taper in. Uh, so instead of beveling, I just extruded it here. Select the scale tool and just scale it in to get what I want here on the top. Okay. Now, I might want to do something kind of fancy here, like with beveling, uh, to add some detail. You know, the, uh, I need to go in there and, you know, that, that looks awful. But uh, 
yeah, that's the idea is that, you know, I could continue to articulate these surfaces. I could add something on top of these parts here uh, pretty easily. Just uh, maybe another like bevel sort of thing. Yeah. So, so I'm just freestyling here. Seat here, you know, a cushion. I would probably just go in and make a camphored box. Um, just use like what we have available here. Go into extended primitives, camphored box. Do a camphored box here. Drag it up, click, round it off, make it two feet by two feet by six inches. Oh, that's big. Okay, and then I would just kind of move it into place. For that, I probably want to go into like a four view so I can see everything. Kind of position that in there. Um, raise it up so it's sitting on top of the seat. Maybe it's squishing down into the seat a little bit. Um, maybe pull it forward like so. Okay, so we have a pretty comfy sort of throne going here. There are a lot of things you could do to <clears throat> kind of add more detail. Very similar to what I've been doing. Okay, the throne selected in, uh, go in here a little poly, select the faces. One thing about uh, extrusions and bevels is that there are a couple different controls you might want to take advantage of. Let me select uh, several different polygons here. Um, Select several different polygons here and go into bevel. So I'm going to hit shift, bevel. And if I just start, now you see it added um, this amount of bevel here. Let me just put in like 0.5 inches. So it's a, just a small bevel. And it's going in. But notice that these two faces that are adjacent, or actually these four adjacent faces, are all treated like in unison. If I go in here and do by polygon, you see that each one is beveled independently. So if we do by polygon, we can create some ornamentation here. I'm going to click OK. And, you know, it's a throne. It, it needs to be articulated a little bit to make it a little fancier. So, but those are just different techniques. Uh, it's all extrusions beveling. Um, if you have a selected face, you can you can move it, you can rotate it. You know, there are all sorts of things you can do if it makes sense. But never violated the integrity of the three-dimensional form. There's an outside skin uh, to the whole thing. Haven't deleted any polygons. Uh, and this is generally the way you want to go when you're trying to do box modeling.